Alright, I guess we're just gonna um, do a short little tutorial on how to install the SPB shell on the HD2. Um, a lot of people are asking how to install it, all that good stuff, where do you get it. Now, I can't share it myself, but I'll show you some tricks where to find it. Um, first, you're going to need to have a, uh, a, a torrent client so you can download some of those. And um, let's go ahead and Google that if you don't have it yet. If you do, what you want to do is go ahead and open up this site here. Type it in your browser. On your search, you want to type this in. Just as you see it. Uh, it's not really focusing. It's SPB Shell V3.5.3. Go ahead and hit search. It's going to pull this up. Go ahead and run through the motions. Download that. And in a couple of moments, you'll have this right on your desktop. What you want to do is you take these files, or this one, this will work for me. You take this, you get that onto your memory card, or somehow onto your device by using ActiveSync, something of the sort. And uh, once you have it on your phone, you can, uh, what you want to do is you open up your file explorer. Go ahead and open that. You want to navigate to your memory card or wherever you have it installed or uh, copied to. In this case, I have it right here. Go ahead and click on that. It'll run. In a couple of moments, you have your magic. Now, there is a way to revert back to the HTC Sense uh, user interface if for whatever reason you want to go back to it. Um, there's a way to go back. As soon as this is installed, I'll show you how to flip between the Sense and the SPB. And there's also a couple other ones that are out there if you want to have a look at those too. I'll be doing a tutorial with the installation, also a short review on uh, what those look like after installation. Good to go here. And as soon as you exit out of that, you should be presented with the new interface. There it is. So if you click and hold, you can uh, go ahead and change skins. You know, makes it look a little different. You can uh, move things around, do whatever you want. You can add things. Uh, you go here, you can add contact, shortcut, Facebook status move it around. There's a lot of things you can do. Um, then you also have options to uh, have three screens, one screen or five screens, uh, side scrolling. Let you guys play with that. Um, what I want to show you is this. You want to go into, uh, uh, I forget how to get there. Here's your settings here. You can change one, three, and five. Um, you want to change this to yes, 3D accelerated. So that will give you this nifty feature when you're at the home screen. When you open this up, it'll allow you to use oh, one second. Use the G sensor, and then now as you see as you rotate it, it'll give you a little playback. Pretty cool.
Now, if you wanted to change the uh, back to sense, what you want to do is looks like I don't know what I'm doing. What I kind of do? Uh, go into settings, system. Hmm, that's not it. <laughs> oh, there it is. Today. And then on items, you want to enable sense, and then from there, it should go back to the uh, to the other home screen. There it is. And so to do the same thing, you know, just gotta. Go back over to the settings. Uh, somewhere in here, I don't have the time to look for it. It's a little tired right now, but it's in there. You just switch it back, and then um, you can select the the other uh, home screen. So that's it.